When we were kids, we all read the tales about incredible sea monsters that lived in the seabed, always knowing those were just fairy tales, but we were wrong. These incredible creatures do exist. You can see them if you dive in the Mariana Trench, the deepest place on Earth. Human beings are fascinated by the unknown and yet, they keep getting surprised. Located on the Pacific Ocean, the Mariana Trench is the deepest place on Earth and also the least explored of all. At a depth of almost 36,000 feet, strange marine species coexist with each other. While some are scary, others, on the contrary, seem to be taken out of a Disney movie. We can convince us that Earth's surface can no longer keep a secret from us, but what's underwater can still surprise us. Get ready, because in this video, we will make a little tour about some of the most mysterious and amazing creatures living in the abyss. These are seven strange creatures living in the Mariana Trench. Number 7. The Vampire Squid or the Vampire of the Abyss The Vampire of the Abyss is so exceptional that it has been credited under the category of living fossil. Since 1903, it has had the privilege of being the last living representative of its order, Vampire Morphida. With a name like Vampirotathis infernalis, that literally means squid from hell. This lone cephalopod seems to follow a diet worthy of its name. But not everything is what it seems. According to a study performed by Hendrik Hoving and Bruce Robinson of the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute, this cephalopod easily takes advantage of its surroundings, where there is hardly any competition for food and no threats from predators. Unlike Dracula, Nosferatu and his cousins, the vampire squid never stick his fangs into live prey, but instead, it feeds itself solely and exclusively on marine snow, that is, organic waste that falls to the seabed. Living at a depth of almost 2,900 feet, in warm waters with little oxygen, this animal reaches a height of just 5 and 1 8 inches, and its life is pretty lonely. When it's in danger, it generates its own light to stun its attacker. Unlike squids that expel ink, this species spells a cloud of bioluminescent, bioluminescent. This species spells a cloud of bioluminescent, sticky mucus. This way, the predator ends up covered in a luminous substance that reveals its position to larger predators. So it's the one in danger, and the vampire squid takes advantage of that and escapes. Number 6. The Goblin Fish Although the transparent head fish was discovered almost a century ago, the scientific community has never been able to observe it in its natural environment with the precision it deserves. It wasn't until 2004 when the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute MBARI, had the chance to study it closely. These 5.99 inches fishes live at a depth of more than 1,970 feet in the Mariana Trench and are extremely fragile. Its most striking feature is its dome-shaped head, completely transparent from where one can see its eyes. These are very rare since they are shaped as green tubes that allow them to visualize everything they have around it with total clarity, thanks to the transparency of its head. Also, they can move both tubes in any direction and therefore they can analyze the ground completely where it lives something that makes it easier for the goblin fish to defend themselves from predators while finding their prey. It has 3D sight. Number 5. The Telescope Octopus The Amphitrichus pelagicus, or Telescope Octopus, is a creature that seems to be taken out of a sci-fi movie. It gives the sensation of being a ghost that wanders in the abyss in a depth of almost 6,570 feet. Also, this octopus species is so transparent that it's possible to see its eyeballs through its body. By the way, the nickname Telescope is simply because of its tubular eyes that resemble two telescopes that in addition of being weird, they perfectly rotate. But more than this mystic side, the Telescope Octopus is an extremely intelligent animal that, to avoid to be seen by its predators, never swims horizontally but goes with the water flow vertically. Number 4. The Abyssal Fish or Black Devil We are, without a doubt, in front of one of the most astonishing animals in the world. 
the lo-fi form or more commonly known as the Black Devil, that made its stellar appearance in the animated movie Finding Nemo. Its luminous lantern in the superior part of its body is a true mortal trap that attracts innocent prey. The mouth of this fish is impressive and at the same time terrifying, mostly because it's, misrepres mostly because it's misrepresentation. What does it mean? That the teeth of this fish, the canines, are pointy and sharp as a needle. They are also crossed with each other, what keeps its prey from escaping. Oldest black devils possess some broken and wear out teeth and it's important to highlight that this is only used to keep its prey, never to grind them. Its way of reproduction is as scary as its appearance. When they are born, the males are much smaller than the females. They develop olfactory organs that allow them to smell underwater and look for them. They don't have a digestive system, so they are incapable of living independently. They must quickly find a female or its reserves will run out and they will die. To mate, the male bites the female belly and fushions its body with hers. It segregates an enzyme that digests the skin it touches and its mouth fusions with the female at blood vessel levels. The male then atrophies itself to have only the two gonads and emits semen in response to hormones in the female's blood. Number 3. The Grimpothotes or Dumbo Octopus this octopus gets its name from the animated character Dumbo, the elephant that used its large ears to fly. The reason for this name is that this octopus species flies in the water, although the extensions it has at each side of its head are in reality fins, not ears. This rare animal exhibits other unusual features that surely are adaptations to life in the depths. The Dumbo octopus therefore is a fascinating marine animal that deserves to be closely studied. The average size of the Dumbo octopus varies between 7 and 11 inches, although scientists also found a specimen of 5 feet long and weighed 11 pounds. Like another octopus species, they can also change its colors to camouflage in the seabed. As for the life in the deep sea, the Dumbo octopuses move in different ways. For example, they can flap their fins, what makes them even funnier than they are. They can also use the extension and contractions of its tentacles. The oceans and its deepest bottoms in general remain unexplored for the most part, so running across a Dumbo octopus is a true delight for researchers. Number 2. The Goblin Shark Behind its scary appearance and its long, flat snout, the goblin shark is considered to be a panchronic species. That is to say that although they have existed for millions of years, they have never evolved. The goblin shark must have been around since the beginning of time, and even though it was seen for the first time at the end of the 19th century, we know very little about this peculiar shark. Its long snout is equipped with electric sensors that help them to easily detect prey. Once it catches them, they tear them apart with its retractable jaw. And as surreal as it may seem, you should know that this prehistoric marine mammal has the ability of moving its jaw forward to catch its prey. It can grow to almost 13 feet long and move slowly, since its fins are too small to swim faster. Also, in the rare occasion in which this shark has been captured by humans, mostly by mistake, it has been informed that they are pink, although when they get old, they turn gray. Number 1. Western Pacific Bayerwang We could think that the depths of the oceans are the quietest places on Earth. However, there is a constant noise. In the fall of 2014 and the spring of 2015, American researchers from the Hartfield Center of Marine Science, attached to Oregon University, detected a series of curious noises in the Marianas Trench. They decided to place a hydrophone, a microphone designed to be used underwater, to a depth of more than 36,000 feet. This was what they heard over and over again and called it Western Pacific Bayerwang. It's a sound that resembles the sound effects of the Star Wars movies, like Aliens, according to researchers. Where does this come from? Is there any scary creature wandering the waters of the Marianas Trench? If humanity looked at the stars searching for answers, it's most likely that some of them might be found in the oceans. 
Far from revealing all its secrets, what do we really know about vast extensions of blue that covers 71% of our planet? Do you know that there existed prehistoric sharks larger than the famous Megalodon? If you want to know more about these stories, don't miss the next video.